So without further ado, I present to you Mama's Bible. that song for memories gathered from my childhood. I remember seeing Mama sitting in her rocking chair with her reading light on and her glasses strategically placed upon her nose. And her favorite book, The Holy Bible, was snugly resting in her lap. 
And when she came to verses, or sometimes chapters, that touched her heart, she would share them aloud with the family. She made sure we had an understanding of the salvation story. One of my fondest memories occurred during the season of Christmas. She would turn to the book of Luke and read to us the story of Christ's birth, our reason for this season. And tonight, Saddle Up would like to recreate that evening and share it with you. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth and to Judea and to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. <laughs>
You know, at this point in the story, everyone starts paying a little more attention, leaning a bit forward in their seats because they know what is about to happen. You all are probably doing that now, aren't you? You are anticipating the birth of Jesus. You know what? So am I. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. You think that God would be quiet at a time like this? The birth of his only begotten son? Do you think the angels could keep silent? Of course not. Listen to this. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, goodwill toward men. One, two, three, four. Going. 
So a bunch of shepherds just witnessed angels appearing and saying, glory to God in the highest. Do you think they just called it a night and went back to tending their sheep? No way. They went to town and told everyone they met. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go unto Bethlehem. And see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. <laughs> Shepherds kept their watching over silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. So go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Yeah. 
shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. So go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is in a lowly manger, the humble Christ was born and brought us God's salvation that blessed Christmas morn. So go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Meanwhile, back at the stable, Mary had much to think about. We aren't really told what she was thinking about or what all she knows about her son. However, Scripture does tell us this. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy is walk to make you new? This child that you sight to a blind man. Mary, did you, Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kissed your little baby, Baby boy 
After the shepherds had told everyone they could find, it seems they finally went back to their flocks. What a special night they had. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. Praise his 
You can only imagine what the next week was like for Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. I'm sure his parents were getting used to caring for a newborn baby. But the Gospel of Luke does tell about what happened to him on the eighth day. And when the eighth days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Because Mary had recently had a baby, and because Jesus was recently circumcised, 
They had to wait a prescribed number of days before Jesus could be brought to the temple for his dedication. Something very interesting was told to them there. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opened the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him at the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms, blessed God, and said, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. One, two, two, two. dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O ye Israel. O come thou key of David, come, and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the
And so we have learned from Scripture, as we have read from Mama's Bible, that our Savior was born on a very special night, a holy night. Let's finish our service by singing Silent Night.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Hope you Thank enjoyed. You. Mama's Bible is worn with pages, teardrops on every page, dog-eared pages to help me find special places. From to back, through and through, I'll read it all a time or two. Always finding something new in Mama's Bible. From to back, y'all, and through and through, I'll read it all a time or two. Always finding something new in Mama's Bible. In Mama's Bible. Thank you.